Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, we will create some random uh, array exercise in which we will just see how try to learn how arrows arrays basically works. So for that purpose, we will just create an array basically. So to create an array, I am using right here um, some uh, some random number generators so i will use a random number generator in here and i will just select i can just choose unsigned bit 64 and integer 64 uh, bits and some dbl double precision number so here i choose a double precision number with some range of minus 10 to positive 10 so that's how i can create a random number generator with the range of minus 10 to positive 10 i can just place it in here so that it will look like minus 10 to 10 so i will just enclose it even inside of the for loop basically so that now i have just select how many times this this value should generate it a random number should be generated so let's say i will choose 10 so that uh, 10 numbers or 10 random numbers will be generated each time uh, so, uh, a random number will be generated each time the loop execute basically so I will just connect the output to the um, loop end that will show that uh, auto index is created which means that all the random numbers that are being generated uh, after each iteration are stored in the form of this auto index so what I wanted to do is I can create an indicator right here which will show me that my random numbers are being generated so as you can see in here uh, 10 random numbers are generated with some of positive and some negative values so what i want is i want to uh, uh, separate these positive and negative values so to separate the positive and negative values i can just write it in here separate positive positive and negative values so to separate the positive and negative values I can just connect this output to my for loop right now as you can see that the error is now removed since uh, the for loop will execute the number of times as we have the number of elements in this auto index channel so it means that the for loop will execute the number of times these elements will have if we increase this loop iteration uh, means if i will change it to 11 then this loop will also execute 11 times since it will contain 11 elements so to separate uh, positive and negative values i can just connect it with my case structure and i can just implement a condition that if it is less than zero which means less than zero means negative values so if the element outcome is less than zero then a case structure will tell us whether it is true or false which means either positive or a negative value so in case of false which means that if we want to collect some positive values how can i just separate the positive values i will use and a built array function <clears throat> so that my new incoming value is connected in here so this is my incoming value and what i want is i want i will connect the output with my for loop and replace that with some shift register and implement the shift register in here which means that every time the new value comes it will be created in the form of an array and the the next value will appears here and moves back in the loop and goes as initializing form so i will create a constant in here so that this will represent that my loop will start every time the loop starts is starts from zero so i can just place that loop I can just select that I can just place it inside it here so 
right now it says that my one of my case uh, selector is not being um, properly uh, attached or linked so that this is showing me an empty case so what I can do in here I can just connect the output of my this uh, output in here and this will be now this will show me the right answer so that's how I can just separate some positive values so if I create an indicator in here and if I just drag it down in here if I run right now these are all the negative values so so why these are all the negative values so in case of true which means that if we are collecting that in case of true right now which are less than zero our this form is being generated so we have to uh, separate the positive values now we can do the same thing we can just build an array and again our the incoming values will be appear in here and the output will be connected with the for loop and we can just again shift using a shift register we can just attach the incoming values that will appear in here with my array built array function so this should also start from zero so since a generic array constant is created here which will be connected to our shift register in here so again i have a connection problem that says that i must have to connect it with some uh, connect in the other case So I have just connected it within, within the other case and now I must have the positive values in here. So create an indicator and that will give me the, my positive values within the array. So if I just increase its size, right now as you can see a random number list is being generated and negative values and the positive values are being separated. So what is the next thing we can do with it? We can just enclose that within our while loop let's just clean up the diagram so that that will show us uh, right now we are getting the maximum and minimum values so it means that we are getting the positive and negative value in the iteration until we just press the stop button so I can implement some weight timing function create a constant or let's say 500 milliseconds so that I am getting the positive and negative values uh, after every iteration after 500 milliseconds then I can implement I want to find out the current minimum and maximum value within that array so I can see that this is our current minimum and maximum value and I can implement some maximize and minimum function so right now this is our positive value and these are our negative values so for minimum value I can create an indicator which will show me the current minimum value and again I can create an indicator which will show me current maximum value so right now if I just run my uh, program as you can see in here the current minimum and maximum value within that array is basically generated so these are current minimum and maximum values I can just make them minimum width and height and now what I want is I want to just insert those minimum and maximum values that I am getting inside of an array. So to insert those things within some array, I have to use a function insert into array so that I am getting the values of current maximum and minimum and this will be my new element and similarly I can choose for current minimum values. So that's how 
it is it will be inserted into an array right now we must have to select the index for the array so to index those the position within the array of these new values will be selected from the iteration terminal we are having in our while loop so i will connect the iteration terminal which means that that will uh, tell me the position within that array so i can just create an indicator in here this indicator is on the positive values positive max values and similarly i can just create an indicator which will show me all the negative max values min values so i can just connect the output in here still i can see i have getting an error in here which shows that we have to initialize the arrays basically so to give a reference of the array we can just connect the output with the input so it will always be updated that what will be our values so now i can just place all the positive maximum values and the minimum maximum values in here and if i just drag it down in here a little i can see my outputs so right now i am getting the current minimum and maximum values in here so these are our current minimum and maximum value and these are inserted within the array so to look all those values i can just place that minimum value in here and the maximum value in here and to show all the items i can just make it visible a vertical scroll bar similarly for this one i can just create a vertical scroll bar which will tell me which, which will allow me to see all the maximum and minimum values in the array basically similarly i can see the current minimum and maximum value as you can see in here the current minimum and maximum values are being inserted within that array so the last thing what i want to do is i want to uh, put those uh, minimum and maximum values within these arrays to a chart to a graph basically so that i can see their trend so for that purpose what i want to do is i will sort these uh, values sort 1d array and i can just connect these maximum and minimum values outside of my loop it, it says that this is giving me an error because we have to connect it with an index form which means that all our maximum values will be stored in the form of index unless we press the stop button similarly we can just collect it out the, our minimum values and connect it in here again we have to create an index form which shows that we have all the minimum values stored in the form of an index in the form of an array which will give us an array output so we have sorted form and now <clears throat> to show on some graph we can use merge signals function so here we have merge errors we can just use merge signals so this is the output in here i can just connect it with the signals and it is automatically changed to some data which it wants and here on my front panel i can just place my waveform graph so the waveform graph is generated and i can just now collect connect with my waveform graph and now if i run my program so this is showing me the current minimum and maximum values then it is being sorted and then if i stop my program a trend is being generated for the positive values i can just select that these are my positive and negative values basically so to see the negative so i can see that the white one is my negative values so i can just change my name as negative values and i can just change as positive values so what i want is it is the positive values are going from minimum to maximum 
and similarly my other trend the negative values are also going from minimum to maximum which is in the positive form but I want to change the trend of the minimum values so what I can do is I can just insert one more thing which is which can be found in the form of array re, sorry not reshape array we can go again and go to array palette and reverse 1d array so right now it is getting me from maximum to uh, sorry from minimum to maximum value as in the form of, uh, of uh, min, uh, the negative values i can just increase the width of my line so that it is more clearly visible line width as positive and i can just create an indicators for my maximum sorted array create an indicator and also create an indicator so this is the sorted array for maximum sorted array max and this is our sorted array for minimum value so I can just drag it down in here and say that sorted minimum value uh, minimum array so again I can just run my program right now as you can see current maximum values current minimum values all the positive values are inserted in the uh, array all the negative values are inserted in this array and I have just missed, messed up with some names but you can ch uh, collect, change the names if I stop my program right now as you can see these are the sorted values I can just again create its vertical index and see that it's being started from maximum to minimum it is being sorted and again if I create sorry if I just click on my array and create a vertical scroll bar that will show me it is going from maximum to minimum so it is giving me a trend of maximum to minimum values right now again it is giving me maximum to minimum values so a trend is being generated you can just make the trend otherwise like creating from minimum to maximum and similarly you can create a trend of maximum to minimum i think we have choose in sort 2d array sort 1d array shuffle 1d array so i can check yes it is unsorted array and then we have sorted into maximum to minimum form so that's how you can just do practice on some arrays so to get the outputs.